Hi, this is McElhaney's. Welcome to Portland, Maine. Here's a brief history about Maine. Maine is popular with lobster. Lobstering in Maine emerged in the mid-1800s, where Maine became the largest producing state in America. Catching lobsters began to grow in 1892. No longer a junk food grew with tourism as a rare treat. Lobster traps increased between 1950 to 1990, exceeding about 3 million traps. Today, this is the place people come to eat authentic New England lobster. I can't see the end, but we'll see it through. And it's really good. Okay, I'll try one of those. Okay, perfect. Um, we're going to have a shrimp scampi. Okay, awesome with a side salad or coleslaw. Um, side salad, coleslaw. 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 Of course. Uh, linguine with marinara. Okay. No meat, just a linguine. Of course. Yeah, okay, with a side salad or coleslaw for that. Um, salad, yeah, side salad. Really yeah. Kind of uh, maybe a, a blue cheese. Blue cheese, yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, you have a special lobster special, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. Uh, how big a lobster is it? Um, it doesn't come with uh, the whole lobster on the salad, but it's a... Oh, um, it's a salad. Yes, or we have, we do have the whole steamed lobster. That's what oh, I thought maybe that was a... What, is, this is a salad? Yes, yeah, oh. so it's a lot, it comes with lobster. It's a Caesar salad base, and it comes with sweet roasted corn and lobster. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, What's your lobster price? Because I don't see anything. Um, I believe it's thirty-two dollars right now. For a pound, right? For about a pound and a quarter to a pound and a half. Yeah, okay. and then it comes with about a dozen steamed lambs and corn on the top. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, um, so just like a, a how much would the, let's say a, a two pound would be sixty, right? Like a two pound lobster, uh, or do you guys just weigh it and then? How, how do you know how big a lobster you're going to get someone? Yeah, it, I mean, it's a pretty big lobster, but yeah, I would say it's about a pound and a quarter. Okay, that's yeah. fine. Okay, yeah, That'd be that? fine. That'd be fine, of yeah. Of course. Okay. Um, I think that's it. All right, awesome. Do you want me to leave you with a menu just in case? Maybe or? one menu, okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Welcome back. I hope you're having a wonderful day. We are in Portland, Maine. And this is a place that I've been here before. It's really, really good. It's called Jay's Oyster. Um, they also have a lot of different restaurants around here. They have one called Danilo's, which is also really good, but it's a little high end. So since I'm here with my family, I decided to try this place and I'm gonna get the lobster. So we're gonna see what Maine lobster is all about and all the rave. So check us out. So before the meal, they gave us a salad. So this is considered just a regular house salad, but it has blue cheese dressing on it. So we're gonna try some of this. Some of the salad with a little blue cheese. Fresh, refreshing. The prelude to the lobster dinner is a salad. Pretty good. With blue cheese. Paul Newman. It's an art stabbing this. It's a tomato. It's a tiny green tomato. Hey, now the main attraction. What can you reach? Cut it. I'll help you out. Got it. Thank you. Yeah. 
So first dish we're trying is the linguine and marinara sauce, which is a red sauce. It looks like they put some Parmesan, a little bit of basil, a lot of tomatoes, and red sauce. So let's try this. Get a little big mouthful of this. Very good, very good. You can tell that the linguine is homemade. It's homemade linguine. It's a little on the firm side, but still very good. The sauce, the sauce is very rich, very tomato-y. There you go, there's a new word. And the Parmesan is grated Parmesan, so it's really good. This does not taste like your canned linguine and marinara. This is definitely homemade quality linguine and marinara sauce. Very good. Mm. Number two is shrimp scampi. This is a favorite of my wife and mine. It has lots and lots of garlic. You also have the linguine as well little parsley on the top they give you lemon wedges for this two types of peppers you have red and green peppers and then of course the prize which is big big jumbo shrimps so let's try some of the linguine first mm. First thing I taste is garlic. A lot of garlic. Very powerful, but very flavorful garlic. And then the linguine, again, just like the marinara, is smooth, it is homemade, it is firm. Oh, so flavorful. Now let's try some of these. This is a shrimp. Mmm, garlic, first thing I taste, garlic. Cooked to perfection, very good shrimps. And they give you a lot of shrimp. And then they also have red peppers here too. So they give you pepper, <laughs> peppers with this as well. This is an excellent meal, shrimp scampi. This is what we came here for, a lobster. A little history about lobster. During the colonial era in the 1700s, lobster was a food for poor people, for peasants. Not anymore. It's really expensive, but it was at one time. They can actually live uh, to be about 100 years old, so they're pretty old. And originally, they're either green, blue, or yellow. But they turn red when they start boiling them. And this is why they get the little red color that you see right now. And this is about a pound and a half lobster. They serve it with some of, uh, this is some of the juice that they actually cook it in, which some people like it. We could try it with that. Traditionally, you normally have it with butter, drenched butter. It's also given with a corn on the cob, which I love. This is nice, fresh corn. And the thing I like about this restaurant, they serve it with clams, which is nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try it with some of the clam first. So you take the clam, which is in here, and I'm going to dig this guy out. This goes in here. That's what this sauce is for. This is for the clam itself. Wow, look at that. Mm, wow. Chewy, briny, a little, a little grainy, but oh, so flavorful. And then this is the clam sauce that they cook it in. So they give you a little bit of the clam sauce that they actually steam it in to dip it in. So it's a wonderful compliment. 
And the thing I like about this place, Jay's Oyster, is they give you clams with the lobster, which is a wonderful compliment. <laughs> now comes the main event, the lobster. So there are many ways to eat lobster, but I was actually trained to eat lobster from a local Maine guy, one of my friends, um, and he showed me different ways to do it. They give you these uh, wipes, so when you're done, because you're usually really messy, they give you the tiny forks to dig into the little hard to get areas, and then this is a must get. The crackers this will get you the whole thing going so here we go so when i eat it i like tear it off a claw so you twist it and the claw comes right off okay now if you want to get this is where most of the meat comes from here so i take the cracker i go in like this you want to cover your face because it might spurt right out at you there we go. You open it up. And there you go, your juicy lobster claw. Mm. So good. And you rip out the rest. And this is the rest of it. Now this is why they give you the little forks. So you dig it out. And then what you do with this juicy morsel, you have two ways. You just eat it or you put it in the butter. And it makes it so much better. Mm. Before we were here, we were in Boston. And we went to a place called Yankee Lobster and had some lobster rolls, which was amazing. But here we're trying the real deal. And this is the real deal, a lobster. It's really good. I'm going to eat the rest of this stuff. Oh, yeah. Winner, winner, lobster dinner. It's a tiny morsel, but it's worth it. This one has lots of eggs in there. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. Look at that. Looks like what we have is a female lobster, and that's why we got a lot of eggs, which is pretty good. You don't always get that. And these are the eggs right here. This is called roe. It's basically what they've eaten, what's left. You don't necessarily eat the roe. Uh, this you can eat. These are the eggs. They're pretty hard to get, but we got them here. <laughs> you don't always get eggs. You're lucky if you get them uncooked. Facts on how you eat clams is they give you the sauce, but it's a little sandy, so you wash it in here. It washes the clam, so the sand comes out. 
No more grain. It's all in there. And it gives them flavor too. I just to wash it. So this is the broth that you actually steam it in. So it tastes just like clams. It's a little salty, but it also adds to it, makes it really juicy. Look at the size of that clam. We're gonna dig this guy out. And we're gonna give him a good drenching here of a clam sauce. And then what makes it good? Beer. They also serve it with corn on the cob. And this is a good seasonal corn. You don't see this all over the place. In California, it's hard to get. And you see the corn? The kernels are two different colors. So let's try some of this. It's usually very sweet. Mm. Sweet and juicy so juicy i'm gonna try something i'll uh, put in the butter look at that oh yeah cop having really good corn great meal Good service. What more could you ask? I think it's time for dessert. Let's have some ice cream. So we are in a place in, called Coastal Creamery. It's an ice cream store in downtown Portland. My kids have been dying for ice cream. And this place is really popular. It's got a long line. So we're going to try some ice cream. Just one. Just one scoop. And what do you want, Ruthie? You want, oh, chocolate, mint chocolate chip. And what's for mixed with a little toothpaste <laughs> because it's mint. So I hope you enjoyed our video. Uh, click like if you like this video and if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing to our channel. We have lots more content and a lot more videos and right now we've got a lot more places to visit and New England, United States. Thank you so much for watching and bye from Maine. I ain't got nobody, but nobody cares for me. Cha, 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 cha. <laughs>